friends, this is Gladys Ellen, and welcome to Heavenly Hugs, a podcast guided by angels. It is here I will share my personal angel stories and insight so that you too can be uplifted and blessed by these beautiful beings of light. Hi, friends. It's Gladys, and welcome back to my podcast. Last podcast, I talked about um, the division of soul groups and soul families and how things are being shaken up and how our past lives and even our past in this life are playing an important role on the shifts and the transitions and the changes that are going on in our lives right now, no matter what age, wherever you are um, spiritually and developing I feel like a lot of people are having these experience. Now, I just started a Heavenly Hugs YouTube channel where every Sunday I do about a 10 to 12 to 15 minute um, angel card reading for the week. And I started off the month of um, August with an angel. And the angel that I chose was Archangel Shamuel. Archangel Shamuel is the angel of transition and change. And then that first Sunday, I pulled Archangel Shamuel again. And then I pulled Archangel Gabriel, who is the angel of leadership. And then I pulled the Archangel Ariel, the angel of courage. And the way these cards are unfolding, it's just showing up more and more the message of change and people shifting out of vibrations or energies that they used to resonate with. A lot of people are kind of transforming um, their self. And I talked a little bit about this in my last podcast. And I did, I did it, I split it up as a part one and as a part two, because in the part two, I want to talk about specifically the angels that can assist you in these transitions. Now, the two big things that I'm seeing the most is the transitions in job changes, career, and then also to the changes in relationships. And sometimes when we're going through these experiences, loneliness or sadness can settle in because we don't have that support system or network that we held so dearly because they are kind of falling away. And um, so the Archangel Shamuel, Shamuel comes into our lives when we're at a crossroads in our lives. I've spoken about him multiple times and he's so beautifully powerful um, as a guide to work with you on your journey. Um, The other angel that um, came up was the Archangel Gabriel. Now with these quote unquote separations and these changes and the dynamics, and I have to clarify, this isn't a good or bad thing. It just is. And I find that, you know, when I learn these things and I can put something like that other people are going through through as what I'm going through, I feel a little bit better about the process. And I feel like I have this network of community of people who who understand, even though I feel like I'm going through things alone. So a big part of this podcast is to really share this information with you so that you know that you're not alone, but there are also these beautiful guides. Now, remember, the archangels come from this God, God, the source, creator, universe, this, this father love energy. He sends his armies of angels to support us just like um, we we need support in our lives God has these vibrations that go out to serve um, and protect and take care of us so the Archangel Shamuel has been amazing with helping us through these transitions again he's also the angel of peace and seeking that inner peace has been really powerful now like can I be okay? Without these people, places, things, and ideas that have, have enveloped and consumed and um, taken my, my life, um, um, I shouldn't say taken my life, but been part of my life for so long. And so when we're separated from this, like I said, that loneliness or sadness can settle in, but this is where your true inner power is. This whole movement is about taking back your power in the most beautiful way. And we're not talking about ego power. We're talking about spiritual pride and spiritual power. The divine feminine and the divine masculine is waking up into the true power and the gifts that they are. You know, it's taken me a long time to declare that I 
I am a spiritual teacher. I'm a mentor and I am a healer. I work with people who who are struggling with their inner gifts to find that light. It's almost like I crack open that shell just a little bit to let the light in in and then it's their job to break it out even more. So my my role um, in, in, in people's lives have been uh, like stepping stones and just like a guiding light for people to um, have some assistance with finding their way. And so as these old soul groups and soul families are kind of breaking down and it's showing up in the energy that's kind of what feels like harsh to sensitive people um, of, of negativity or toxic or fear or worry. And again, these are all reflections of what we've had in us for so long by moving away from that energy it gives you an opportunity to clear space and open up for something more or something better to come in um, that will match you know your 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 gifts and 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 your light and what you've come here to um, expand on in this planet uh, on this planet earth because really living here on earth is about experiences you know that what we would label good bad or indifferent they are experiences and it's part of the human experience to feel a variety of emotions emotions and experiences and I think that's what we're getting more in touch with we're connecting with more people people on different levels. We're really expanding our growth process and we're really energetically asking the people around us to move with us, to grow with us. And there are a lot of souls out there who who aren't and that's and that's okay. And to be able to accept that this is the space that they're in, this is the space that you're in and maybe you're feeling stuck. Maybe you see people around you who are growing and advancing and you're feeling like, well, why can't I do that? And what is it for me? Know that you can too. And so this podcast is dedicated to the angels that can assist you. And remember, all you need with them is an open heart and an open mind and that free will to say, yes, please, I invite you into my life in the highest will and the highest light by the power of God to help me move through this. You know, we're seeing a lot of, I talked about in the last part podcast, that masculine energy and, um, breaking um into their divine masculine of 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 so 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 we're all in this masculine feminine energy and I and I don't mean boy girl um I mean masculine feminine where the divine feminine energy is this beautiful creator energy and the divine masculine energy is that protector that strength that 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 uh support system and so the masculine energy, if you identify with masculine, whether it be male or if you identify with masculine energy, um, is going through a metamorphosis right now to expand on their creative side. What are you creating? How are you growing? I have a, a friend that I do my um, my always consider the source, well, our always consider the source YouTube channel. And we basically just get together, me, Nathan, and Joe get together, and we share our own personal personal insights on concepts and topics in the spiritual realm. Our intention is to go more in depth with uh, spirituality than what uh, is surface out there. And one of the things I say often is Nathan truly embodies the the balance between masculine and feminine. Nathan is a creator. He he puts our our um, he puts our our videos together. He puts in um, and edits it. He's very creative. He creates guided meditations. He channels a lot, and so he's creating a new platform in his life to transition out of his um, corporate job. And, um, but he also embodies the masculine. He's a father, he's a husband, he's a provider. And so he's really advancing in this balance between the masculine and the feminine. And again, so, so are the women. And I feel like that masculine energy is going through this change more so than the divine feminine. And so if again you're struggling with the transitions if you're if you're if you know it's coming and you're having a hard time using your voice it made sense that Gabriel would come up Gabriel is leadership energy Gabriel is the angel of communication so if you're struggling with your needs and how to communicate that to the people that are around you I invite you to call on the archangel Gabriel Gabriel sends pennies as well as your loved ones. Uh, but when Gabriel's around assisting you with communication, whether you want to be a public 
public speaker, whether you want to write, whether you have to have a hard conversation with somebody, um, whether you want to, um, you know, sing uh, beautifully um, and really get messages out there that people will hear you. You want to invite on the, uh, the Arch Archangel Gabriel. So the Archangel Gabriel's color is copper. And he can help you uh, with the energy. And again, I say he or she because it's a, a dominant vibration that they come in with. But it's really the angels are genderless in a sense. But it's the vibration that they come in with. So, so, so when we talk about Archangel Gabriel with communication, there's more of a softer aspect of Gabriel. Because again, we never want to communicate from this aggressive, authoritative place because everybody just shuts down. Like nobody wants to listen to that. So <laughs> Gabriel can help open up people's ear chakras and open up your heart so that you can communicate from the heart um, instead of from that emotional, like crazy, needy space. Um, so another angel that is assisting right now is Archangel Jeremiel. Now, Jeremiel is the angel that helps to move us away from old beliefs, old ways of doing things, old paradigms. So I see this a lot in like family dis-ease and illness and um, just behavior patterns. Um, and uh, Jeremiel or, or what I call Jerry can help assist us in the transition and change out of old ways of doing things. So for example, I grew up, God bless my mom, who was a single mother. And her energy as I was growing up is, is survive. You know, you've got to work hard. You've got to pay your bills. Um, and you really have to be independent and strong. But yet there was always the lack of vibration behind that. And so when I left my corporate job and started my business, money was a thing for me and I couldn't understand why I was having such a hard time with money and attracting it and bringing it in and finding this healthy relationship with abundance, prosperity, and really wealth and money. Um, and so I really had to kind of go in and work on these old programs and old beliefs. And again, it's not a judgment on my mom. It's, it's the human experience. But what's happening is a lot of us are are realizing that we have these programs, these experience, whether it's fear, don't do this because of that. And this goes a lot with, with our belief systems or, you know, you should put your wants and needs aside for everybody else. And we're learning that we just can't survive in that energy anymore. So Archangel Jerry helps us to see the root of why we're having these experiences. So many people are shifting out of their, their jobs right now. And, and I mean, I, I do not advocate to quit your job without anything else. So when I left my corporate job, I should clarify, I had a per diem job. And I also worked on the growth of my business. So that per diem job paid for my medical, it paid for my car insurance, it paid for my basic needs um, while I was building my business and building my practice and working on myself. Um, and so I, I always say, call on the Archangel Shamuel if you're looking to transition out of a position because that per diem job kind of fell into my lap as soon as I left that corporate job. So I had to leave first and then that other position came right in. I have another client whose husband was really struggling in his job and he wasn't being valued and he wasn't given the opportunity to grow and he wasn't being heard and he ended up quitting that job for his own self-preservation and in the month or month and a half that he was um, recovering, <laughs> sleeping and just repairing from that experience, another job op opportunity opened up and he's in a really great company now that values him, respects him. He loves the job. He loves the experience. And it goes so much in alignment with his life purpose and who he is. So sometimes we do have to separate, um, but he had to really dig within and say to himself, I am worthy and deserving of so much more. And I think this is the root of what a lot of us are transitioning out of these spaces uh, because of we are learning that we are worthy and deserving of mo more, more peace, more kindness, more joy, more love, more adventure. And as we take our power back in the say and saying, no, we're not going to um, 
be taken advantage of. And no, we're not going to give our time and energy and money away. No, we're not going to give our health away anymore at the cost of people who are taking advantage. We're seeing that more so now and more of through struggle or pain or, or, or difficulty or this dark night stuff, but it's supposed to be a teacher to propel you forward. I say so often it's like the slingshot. You got to get pulled back in order to go forward. So, so many of us right now are in this propelling forward and you always want to make sure when that energy releases, you're going in the direction of your dreams. And for me as a clear sentient and a clear cognizant, um, you know, person who feels and just knows things, I really have to ask myself, how do I want to feel? I want to feel nurtured and loved and supported and appreciated. I want to be empowered and uplifted with a community of people. I want roots and a foundation and feeling supported. And this is the energy that I keep going into in my vibration. And other things in my life are changing, are shifting because of it. So I have to completely trust in the divine, trust in father love that he's asking me to pick up and move spaces. Um, And again, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to walk away from these family members. You can lessen the time that you're with them. You can sit in the energy with them to support them and comfort them and teach them, inspire them without having to absorb it and take it on. That's been something that I've been working on personally. Like how do I sit in this energy and not as a caregiver, healer, triple cancer, sensitive being, how do I not absorb this? So I am practicing the art of being in these uncomfortable spaces with the agreement that I don't have to fix these people. I don't have to problem solve. I don't have to make them better. And I do it in the most loving space and and they soften and I soften and the energy shifts and it's really, really beautiful. And I can contribute that to the support and assistance of Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Gabriel, helping me with how to communicate and when not to communicate. Um, Jeremia with helping me see the light, see see these holes and cracks, see these ancestral um, vibrations, belief systems, thought patterns, so that I can shift it and say, nope, that's not the person that I want to be anymore. Not that's not the space that I want to be in. And then, um, and so as we're talking about jobs, I have to say there's a lot of relationships changing. And again, you talk about jobs with coworkers and your bosses and physical relationships. You know, I talked to somebody the other day that had transitioned out of an 18 year relationship, you know? So, so again, it's like getting back to, um, what it is that you want. And sometimes you have to create space. It doesn't mean these people are no forever. It just means no right now until you vibe. And this is, this is one of the big messages that came up with this, um, August 11th energy and the eight, eight, Lion's Gate that came in and all this solar lunar solar eclipse energy. It was almost like people were vibrationally <laughs> shifting out, shifting in. I mean, I've reconnected with some people that I haven't talked to in years. And when I talk to them, I realize like our stories are the same. We've been going through the same things. We've been shifting in the same types of, or shifting out of the same types of paradigms of relationships. And it's not always pleasant and people aren't always happy about it, but really they're your team teachers and they're teaching you more about what it is that you want. So being able to energetically appreciate that has been powerful. So if you're in relationships that are just really hard to be in, I ask you to invite in the Archangel Raguel. Archangel Raguel, and I should also include Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raguel and Raphael help with relationship conflict and relationship harmony. So um, Archangel Raguel is another angel that came up this month. And it made sense with the transitions that we're going through. Um, So the Archangel Raguel, as I said, he's the angel of relationship harmony. He's the angel of fairness and justice. I'm also seeing lots of legal stuff going on, things that people have been putting off. There's divorces that are coming up. There's there's, uh, legal contracts that people have been in that haven't been healthy for them. People are waiting for things to happen and movement. And so if you have some legal 
legal stuff going on or you're feeling fa uh, things are unfair and unjust, I ask you to invite in the Archangel Raguel. Ask him for assistance so things are fair and just and there's movement for everyone involved. Uh, Archangel Raguel's color when I see him is this uh, sky blue, beautiful color. And I know he's around because I always seem to see pictures of the sky blue with clouds. That's always been, or the justice scale, the fairness and justice scale. So Raguel has been so powerful inviting harmony into. So again, instead of getting lost in the details and the energy that you experience, take yourself out of that and energy, energetically go to the place on how you want to feel or what you want to experience. I say, Archangel Raguel, I invite in my life relationship harmony. Bring in harmonious people. And you'll find that even in a grocery store, even on the road, you'll start to attract more harmonious people. So I know it's difficult when you're in it because you're like, well, this is my reality and this is the energy that I'm in and this is what's happening. I totally get that. Be in that space, feel it, experience it, but then know that you can sit with it and shift through. When your body flares up and you've got pain um, or something's happening, it's teaching you in a way, but you don't have to be alone in it. You don't have to be in that space of feeling um, stuck. And it's only that feeling um, that's supposed to show you that there's something more for you and you're getting pushed and squeezed out. Um, there's so many angels that can help us right now. So another angel that um, has been coming up a lot is Archangel Azrael. Azrael, if you research him, he is the angel of death. And it makes so much sense that he would come up for so many people right now because people are going through endings. Um, he helps to bring comfort in the cycles that are ending. So he is like the angel. If you're if you're feeling like you're in this dark night of the soul stuff, if you feel like you're in this dark space and being challenged by it, invite Archangel Azrael in your space. He does not come in with a bright light. He comes in and morphs his energy so that he can sit and bring you comfort. So sometimes, you know, sometimes this angelic energy is so powerful and it's so strong and it's so positive and so loving. Not all of us are always in that beautiful space. So sometimes that happy people, when you're in the space of feeling sad or vulnerable or angry or frustrated, or even in that victim energy, why me and all that stuff. And I have to say, I've been through all those experiences. So there's, there's no judgment. It's just maybe you're going through that right now. And inviting this positive angelic energy in or um, inviting, like, let's say even like if you're in this space and you're around somebody who's all happy all the time, it can be painful for you. So Azrael is phenomenal for kind of morphing his light and sitting in the darkness with you. And remember, you've got to, you've got to ask and, and it's your free will to make the change. Uh, so Azrael kind of stands on that bridge of transition and he just waits for you to come forth to the bridge. So if you're a visual person, imagine you really want change in your life. Imagine that you're coming up upon that bridge of, of transformation, whatever that is, and taking his hand and walking with him across the bridge. He will bring you to that other side. But like I said, you might be in that space right now where it's hard to be around positive people or happiness or joy, and that's okay. Um, know that that it's okay to, to 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 feel that way. A lot of times, it feels like you know when somebody has a really bad headache, it feels like somebody somebody comes in and just shines a light in your face, and it makes the headache even worse. So again, that positivity and that happy all the time can sometimes just shine a light on your pain. So um, Azrael is phenomenal for gently and lovingly morphing into your energy and sitting with you, bringing you comfort, letting you cry it out, letting you. Um, just sit there and be with yourself until you pick yourself up by the bootstraps and totally, to totally take those steps, um, those baby steps to get yourself across the bridge. You know, there are a lot of people transitioning out of this physical life into the um, spirit world. Um, so if you know somebody who's, who's sick or ill and they're transitioning, invite the Archangel Azrael in to assist them in their transition to bring them comfort. It can be a very scary thing. You know, I've been around people who are passing um, um, more often than, than I want to 
that I want to say I have. Um, and, and obviously as, as, as a, a medium and, and, and helping people connect with their loved ones, uh, you know, I see how being by somebody's bedside and being a caregiver can be really hard on the caregiver or the person that's left behind. So you can also invite the angel Azrael in to, to assist you and comfort you um, as you assist these people with transitioning since he's the counselor energy he will come in and bring you the guidance that you need but like I said in 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 a gentle way so that so that you're comforted and then the last angel that I want to acknowledge is Archangel Ariel I mentioned her in the beginning she's the angel of courage and bravery she's the angel of strength and if you're in the place of transitioning out of relationships and out of jobs um, or just out of uh, experiences themselves. Archangel Ariel is the angel of life purpose. She's the angel that helps us on our soul mission. She helps us to be courageous enough to take the leap of faith, to 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 move in that space. So, so if you're standing on the cliff there and you know you need to jump and it's going to be amazing, but you're still afraid, invite Archangel Azrael to come, I mean, I'm sorry, Ariel to come in and, and work with you. Ask her to open up doors for you easily and effortlessly. Ask her to to download that energy of your heart song, this this beautiful energy. Maybe you're in a space that that you know you want to help people, but you the way you've been helping people isn't working anymore, and you want something else that you don't even know exists anymore. There's so much of that divine feminine energy that's waking up to our creative power, that's waking up to our healer um, energy, and being able to use our inner divine guidance to help and support people. So. Maybe it's being a healer. Maybe it's being a holistic practitioner. Maybe it's being a spiritual coach or counselor that you want to do. Um, Archangel Azrael can help with you with the classes and the certifications and the money to really make these transitions. Um, she's such a beautiful, courageous light. She is the lioness energy. We've been in Leo for a while now. So I think we're at the end of Leo going into Virgo. I don't know if we're in Virgo yet. Um, but Ariel has been helping with the courage and the bravery of us taking the leap. So you have some really powerful, angelic energy that can be supportive of you right now. Know that you're not alone. And all it takes is you giving permission, asking for assistance, and really opening up your heart and your mind to know that the universe is proactive for you not against you. It's the ego part that wants to, to be afraid and wants to stand still and, and keep you contained in that space. You never know how information can come to you. You could It could come to you through a documentary. It can come to you from you know a person that you meet in a supermarket. It can come in so many ways through music, through song. All you have to do is opening up, open up to being in the present moment. And that's where all these divine beings come in to support you. And then they will send you angels people, people, physical people that can be guiding lights for you. Allow these people to come and go in and out of your life knowing that they're all part of the plan. We all love your soul so much that we want to support you on your journey, but know that you have to do this for yourself to develop yourself to really live that life of adventure, play, laughter, fun, and freedom, and really settle into the energy of true love, true love for yourself that vibrates out to other soul groups and soul families who embody that energy of true love. So once again, friends, I thank you for listening. And, you know, I wanted to say too, if you have any topics that you are interested in learning about or knowing about, if there's anything that you have questions about, feel free to reach out to me via email um, and uh, just kind of leave me a note and saying, hey, Gladys, can you talk about this? Or, hey, Gladys, this is going on. Can you give some insight on it? Um, you know, I always am open to um, how to assist you better. Um, I do, after 11 years, have a lot of knowledge and wisdom that, you know, I've gone on to so many other things that I forget that there's so many um, topics that can be covered. So feel free to reach out to me um, and I'd be happy to do a podcast or offer some guidance on it. Um, and let's help each other. So as always, I thank you for listening and I send you love with heavenly hugs.
you've been listening to Heavenly Hugs with Gladys Ellen. Gladys invites you to join her on Facebook and Instagram, where she continues to teach and inspire. If this podcast was helpful and you would like to experience more, Gladys offers private sessions at her office, as well as over the phone and via Skype. Connect with loved ones in the afterlife. Explore past lives with past life regression therapy. Or receive clarity about your life purpose, love, relationships, prosperity, and more with spiritual intuitive sessions. Book your appointment online anytime at GladysEllen.com.